Leicester Square for the premiere of Leatherheads tonight, which is um, George Clooney's new film. He directed it and he stars in it, which I'm ridiculously excited about because he's going to be here tonight, as is René Zellweger, which is also exciting. Not quite as exciting, but great nonetheless. So uh, hopefully we'll be chatting to George and René and see who else turns up tonight. The film is set in the 1920s and George plays an American football coach who tries to save his team from financial disaster. In the process, he also becomes involved with a tenacious reporter played by René Zellweger. So you're a sports writer? Why not? Hey, what's a girl doing in a press box? Certain jobs are always going to be done like that. Big strapping man. All right, well, we've got a few questions for George Clooney tonight, but it seems some of the girls in the audience here waiting for him are uh, got a very important question. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Will you marry us, George? <laughs> The girls from I'd Do Anything also look like they'd do anything for George. Oh, yes, huge fans, actually. We've talked yes. about nothing else for the last <laughs> sort of half Couldn't even sleep. Since we knew we were coming oh. here, so yeah, absolutely, huge fans. And then it's all again. Oh, yeah. yeah absolutely. Absolutely. Really excited to see the film because we've so much hype about it as well. It's so, yeah, exactly. very excited. Yeah. Very excited. Is this your first uh, big premiere? Or? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. telling us what to do. <laughs> Walk, smile, and wave. <laughs> we've never done anything like that. I personally haven't. I'm sure any of the girls have done anything like this in our lives, and it's an amazing experience. Yeah. Really, really brilliant. Brilliant. Oh, oh, bless you. <laughs> Thank you very much for saying. Thank you. Renee Zellweger looked freezing and didn't stick around for long, but she did manage to say some nice things about George between chattering teeth. I've done some of his uh, charity events that he produced, but this is the first time we've worked together. Yeah, and how that going to be easier? You know, he's a little talented. It was not a bad day at work. <laughs> when George arrived, we kind of chickened out of the marriage proposal and asked instead how he prepared for the sporting scenes in the movie. Well, I, I drank a lot. <laughs> did you? Yeah. Uh, uh, play, I play a lot of basketball, so I was playing a lot of basketball every day for a while. Just to, you know, it's just your legs. It's not you know, the rest of you can take it, but your legs start to go after a few days of it getting hit. George, charming as ever, did at least spare a thought for his female co-star. Boy, the girls must be very cold in these, like like Renee wearing nothing out here. Yeah, this is quite nice for England. Oh, it is nice, but I'm still that looks cold to me. You could offer her your jacket. I could, but I'm no. cold, man. <laughs> And you are the star of the film, after all. Exactly. You don't take your coat off around here. Are you crazy? It's too bad we know each other so well. We might have gotten along. Well, I'll live. Alone. We thought for a moment that George might finally come to Renee's rescue with his jacket. But no, he just put his arm around her instead. Well, George and Renee have just gone into the premiere. It's been a really good night tonight. Uh, I think the crowd got what they want, apart from the ones who proposed because I, I'm not sure he said yes uh, but other than that it's been a great night he's been doing lots of signings and um, we got to chat to him as well